Joe Clean, Southern Hospitality, February 13th, 1990, 95. Joe sat in the living room of the Hyatt's Royal Ponciana Suite 2C, his mind slipping back and forth between pleasant reminiscence of last night's lovemaking with Misty and his A Graveyard for Lunatics novel, coffee cup at hand, sliding door open, sun lightening the gray of twilight to palest pink as it slowly rose from the Caribbean in its 12-hour journey across the clouds. With back to the wall, he had a peripheral view of the ocean to his right and the short hallway leading to the room he shared with Misty, as well as the room beyond that Justin occupied with his pregnant wife Kelsey to his left. Outwardly placid but internally restive, he vacillated between laying his book down and exploring the immediate environs surrounding the Hyatt Resort alone versus waiting for another to rise from slumber and greet the dawning day with him. His head rose from his Bradbury and shifted to the left. His brother Justin padded quietly around the corner, declaiming, Schmoey! Imagine meeting you here with a grin. Good morning, Joe responds, placed his pinky in his book as he closes the cover. Looks like we're up first again. Jocante! Want to make a bet on who's who we see next? Only if I get to choose Phil, though it's possible Misty could slip into view for a second or two if she needs the bathroom. Unlikely, she'd rather hold it than disturb her slumber. Is there coffee? Justin asks. Claro, of course. Whoa, Justin laughs, making his way to the kitchen. Two Spanish words in two sentences. You been studying? No, but I've been wondering when somebody get up. You'd think the point of a vacay is to sleep our lives away. Yeah, well, different strokes, right? Justin replies as he pours a cup. Got someplace you need to be? No, just want to channel my RLS. I'm sorry, Lou Gehrig? RLS, not ALS, Joe laughs. You know, Requiem, Robert Louis Stevenson. Under the wide and starry sky, dig the grave and let me die, Joe asked before continuing. Glad did I live and gladly died and I laid me down with a will, adding more pointedly, this be the verse you grave for me. Here lies where he, where he longed to be. Home is a sailor, home from the sea, and the hunter, home from the hill. That's Robert Louis Stevenson? Isn't he the guy who wrote Robinson Crusoe? No, Joe said, shaking. He said, that was somebody else. Treasure Island and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You can run, but you can't hide, Justin says, nodding. Ask not for whom the bell tolls, Joe says quietly. Hemingway? Mm, sort of, Joe says with a laugh. But that's not where I was going. If I'm going anywhere, I was more. No man is an island entire of himself. Each is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. Some Elizabethan poet. Take your word for it. Want to hit the beach when you're done with your coffee? Sure, Justin says, nodding. Keep us from getting in trouble by waking up the sleepyheads. Done, Joe says too loudly. That's the guy's name.